Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something really awesome to talk about. I was actually planning on making another video, iOS 10 related, when this was brought to my attention. It's concerning hacker Luca Tedesco, whom I'm sure most of you are definitely familiar with. He's been a subject here on the channel a number of times, and what's really interesting is that this news actually follows something awesome that I talked about on Monday prior to iOS 10's announcement, and that's concerning Pangu as well as Mosec or the Mobile Security Conference 2016, which of course will be hosted by Pangu. They started sending out invitations to top tier hackers and security researchers. I highly recommend watching that now if you have yet to. That way you'll be fully caught up on all of the good news going on right now in the world of jailbreaking. All signs are pointing to something absolutely epic. Let's hope that the good news just continues and we get a utility sooner rather than later. So with that said, let's go ahead and switch on over here to what we're talking about in today's video. Now, Hacker Luca Tedesco linked this code here available on Ghostbin. We'll actually take a look at that in just a second, but it's accompanied by the following text, quote, gas gauge double free race condition zero day exploit for iOS 9.3.3 B or beta and lower. So this is absolutely epic news, guys. Luca Tedesco just dropped a free zero-day exploit, which is really rather surprising. Tedesco has, of course, contributed to the realm of jailbreaking in the past, but this is a little bit different. This exploit is publicly available for anyone to utilize, whether it be Pangu, Taiji, or again, any other jailbreak group, and this could definitely aid in the creation of a jailbreak. Now, following that tweet, he followed it up with this one, and essentially the important part of this follow-up up tweet is right at the beginning it needs a sandbox escape so what that means is that this exploit actually requires a sandbox escape to function properly as most of you know applications inside of iOS are sandboxed so essentially it needs to escape the sandbox sandbox escape and be able to write or execute unsigned code onto the device before this exploit will actually execute so that's some pretty interesting stuff in and of itself but what's really cool again is is that he posted this for free and it is available inside of this ghost bin document here. He just pasted the required information and code available here. So, like I said, anyone can utilize this, whether it's a top tier developer like Taiji or Pangu, or really anyone who wants to give creating a jailbreak a shot, who has the required knowledge it takes to actually put something together and create a jailbreak, which is definitely harder than it sounds. So, what will most likely happen is that Taiji or Pangu, whichever group decides to issue the next untethered jailbreak utility, will utilize this exploit, giving Luca Tedesco credit, kind of like what's happened in the past where Luca Tedesco has been accredited by Pangu, specifically in the Pangu 9.0.x jailbreak utility, except this time it is available publicly. So this is some pretty awesome stuff, but for those of you who are still confused, let's return to the original tweet here. So he said, gas gauge double free race condition zero day exploit for iOS 9.3.3 and lower. So a zero day exploit is essentially just an exploit that was previously undisclosed that nobody knew about. So that's really key. Another important thing is the type of exploit that it actually is. So we can see here he calls it gas gauge. That's likely just his name for it. And then double free race condition. So let's go ahead and switch on over here. A race condition defined inside of an operating system is an undesirable situation that occurs when a device or system attempts to perform two or more operations at the same time. But because of the nature of the device or system, the operations must be done in the proper sequence to be done correctly. So he was able to identify a race condition inside of iOS, of course, an undesirable situation where multiple things need to occur at the same time, but because they can't, he was able to exploit that and turn it into something that could definitely be usable in the creation of a new jailbreak. So let's hope that this actually aids Pangu in creating something for iOS 9.3.3. We at the very least expect that they will demo a new jailbreak at the upcoming MoSec conference. I'm definitely going to keep you guys fully covered on any and all new developments in the world of jailbreaking. Click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. If you want to be updated even more often, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Of course, like I said at the beginning of this video, let's hope the good news just continues and we get a new utility shortly. I will keep you
you informed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the I Crack Your Eye Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.